Well, the full moon will actually be on Friday, the 31st of July. So this is your waxing gibbous. We were just having a very long conversation about it. But when it is full on Friday, it is a blue moon, which is two full moons within one month. So we've gotten to see that twice in the month of July. So I'm going to look forward to if the clouds clear out tomorrow too. Nature's flashlight 83 in Boston right now with clear skies out there to get that beautiful shot. I love that. And definitely hot today. 92 in Boston, Worcester still 88 couldn't quite pull that rabbit out of the hat haven't made it up to 90 yet there 93 for Norwood it was definitely hot all across the board and the humidity is still very very high so it is adding that heat index to it it makes it feel even warmer than the temperature reads current temperature is 77 in Bedford 75 in Worcester these temps will not budge a whole lot overnight tonight because of where the dew points are the humidity is so high that it's going to hold those temps in place most of us will bottom out in the low 70s. Not necessarily the best night to open up the windows and hope that you get that relief blowing through the house. It might be pretty stuffy tonight. Tomorrow it will be better. Clear skies overnight tonight, but we start to turn our attention to this front that you can see right here. It fired up some storms uh, with the line there drying it from Toronto, Cleveland, Cincinnati earlier today, and that is what we're in for as we get into tomorrow. So running through the timeline here, you can see those clouds that do increase probably around lunchtime and taking out some of that sunshine, storms could fire up as early as one or two, but the real storm action starts as we head into the later afternoon hours, three, four, five o'clock for central mass. And then into the evening, we're inside of 495, probably between seven and 10 p.m. Now, some of these storms could be strong and even the potential for some of them being severe. So what are we talking about when we're looking for those severe storms? Well, the threat really is there for heavy downpours because the atmosphere is so more at this point that it'll just rain and rain and rain. We're also looking for the potential for some damaging wind and the very slight chance of small hail and also a very weak tornado in western mass, but keeping a close eye on it. Now the cold front doesn't help with the temperatures, but it will help with the humidity, which ultimately helps with the real feel of the temps. Tomorrow though, another toasty one for us. Many locations hitting close to 90 once again, mid 80s as you get into southeastern mass and low 80s for the Cape and the islands. So a nice beach day to beat the heat, you can head to the beach. And here's a look at my 7 on 7 forecast. Cooler coast for the weekend, more sunshine in store. And we don't see our temperatures return to the low 80s until we hit the middle of next week. Have a great night.